fluid mechanics is boundary layer theory. But interesting, but complicated uh, topic is boundary layer theory. The first thing, what do you mean by boundary? What do you mean by boundary? Boundary is nothing but which is formed on the object when it is been immersed. So, finally, I can say that boundary layer theory, we will be talking only on the immersed object or immersed bodies. Boundary layer theory will be discussed on to the immersed bodies, that too a flat plate, that too on flat plates. In this topic, a very important concepts or interesting concepts will be seen into consideration. Whenever there is some incoming fluid, when you apply, when you immerse some flat plates, a rectangular flat plate onto the free stream velocity, there will be when the fluid particle come and touches the flat plate, the velocity of the fluid particle will rapidly fall down and uh, there starts the formation of boundary layer. Boundary layer formation is always uh, a disadvantage for the object that is you need to expend some power you need to give some forces to make the boundary to clear up or else uh, it will be creating some resistance so there will be the formation of boundary when the free stream velocities comes and hits the leading edge and the velocity drops down again the velocity of the fluid particle to reach the 99 percent of u to infinity u infinity that is nothing but free stream velocity to for the boundary layer to be cleared up. In this boundary layer, there will be loss of energy. The loss of energy, there will be some losses being associated with energies that is kinetic energy. There will be some loss with the mass flow rate and, the, the, and there is also some loss with the momentum. So, always a loss is being, has been taken into criteria as a disadvantage. So, to overcome these all these all the losses, you need to some uh, supply some energy to the body to clear up the boundary layer. The boundary layer again here would be a one mark question for your gate exam. What happens here is when the boundary is being formed, always we try to remove the boundary. When we try to remove the boundary, we need to compensate the losses as I termed as velocity that is your discharge losses, momentum losses and the displacement losses need to be rectified or need to be uh, need to be compensated these losses to compensate you need you need to give the boundary so we are going to study what are the losses how to compensate the losses how to make the boundary leave the body as soon as possible and uh, what will play a very important role in boundary layer formation again in case of boundary layer formation there are two terminologies called as velocity and pressure these two parameters will play a very important role. A velocity, if the velocity came into picture, obviously Reynolds number will be coming into picture. In case of boundary layer theory, laminar flow, Reynolds number Re for laminar flow will be less than or equal to less than or equal to less than or equal to 5 into 10 power 5. So, based on the Reynolds number, velocity of the fluid particles vary. When the velocity is getting varied, pressure component con content or pressure component will be varying and we will be seeing what is this boundary layer thickness delta and uh, many other like uh, delta star, delta E and theta as I told you momentum thickness, displacement thickness will be seen here as well as energy thickness. How the boundary is being formed, how to eliminate the boundary layer, what are the factors affecting the boundary layer formation and uh, what are the energies to be compensated to remove the boundary layer formation and finally separation of boundary layer. Separation of boundary layer, how does it takes place? Separation of boundary layer only takes place when your pressure gradient is positive so that the velocity gradient will become negative. When the pressure gradient is positive and the velocity gradient becomes negative, boundary layer will be flushed out. The boundary layer won't be formed which you are going to study in this boundary layer theory.